lights of the ground house. Lauren, yes, we're out together. Thank you for that dress rehearsal, by the way, of all the motions you're going to do. I'm very, very good. Yeah. I'm very good at this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hi, guys. Welcome to my channel. This is insanely bizarre considering you and I had a channel first, but me introducing you feels super weird. I, feel I just like want to just... say uh, I'm honored to be here. I'm a huge fan of the channel. Um, I'm glad that it gets shot in my own home. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember this couch when we just picked it up, and now it's it's internet famous now. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, today live on the brown couch, this is my boyfriend Dave. Hi, I'm boyfriend Dave. Um, we had a YouTube channel for a short-lived time and did this together, like, a lot. But for some reason, you hearing my host voice feels like, I feel very vulnerable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, today we're going to try some beer. Today is, uh, is vacation day, and we are sending it. We are controlled sending our, our food and booze That's our today. cute word for we're going to eat a bunch of crap all day. Yeah. Hey, you tried some stuff that you really needed to try. I First did. McGriddle of her life. First McGriddle ever. I've never had a McGriddle. Had a breakfast Baconator, which I know those are relatively new, but... Yeah, yeah. and kind of gross. Honestly. Oh, I loved it. I, it's exactly what I wanted of a did. Am I not supposed to swear? Is swearing not allowed? I've been swearing. Okay, good. Greens, naturally gluten-free. Discovery is an amber ale. I love that it matches your outfit today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take this one. Look at how good she did. All right, well. Okay, let's see. All right, well, uh, cheers. Cheers. pretty good it's really missing the gluten I that's the problem it's just immediately you're just like where's the gluten it tastes thinner um, though, right seriously no I don't think oh. it tastes thinner at all I don't know what gluten does to beer well amber ale overall out of 10 what are you giving the amber ale 10 is like the best of every beer ever every gluten-free beer ever are we ranking just these three? What's our system? Be out of be beer ever you've ever had in your life. Ten, 10 is the best beer you've ever had in your life. I would give it like a one. If we're talking like my top 10, are we talking just no, a, no, a no, scale no. of one to 10? A scale of one to 10. Okay. Like a ten, seven. 10 is a perfect beer. One is like, I I'll never sip that shit again. A seven. You'd give it a seven. I would give it a seven too. Yeah. Insert no one on earth no will get that reference. No one's gonna get that reference. Uh, Alright, what's one which one's next? Um The Endeavor Double L. I'm gonna cut the pour out, honestly. Why? Well not now, because I talked about it. Yeah. That's got a three philosophers vibe. I like that better. It's deeper. I don't know if Ooh. that's technical. You don't like that. That started off hot, ended very poorly. <laughs> that is atrocious. I give that a one. I give it a zero. I was going to give it an eight. That is literally disgusting. It is like so bitter. You liked it? You're getting a zoom on that. I really liked it. Really? Yeah. That makes sense. You like sticky, painful, <laughs> horseradishy, <laughs> fucking... <laughs> Yeah. Sour, left, leave it out in the sun for six days, and then it ferments into the actual meal kind of food. I hated that. Oh, I, I loved absolutely it. absolutely despised that. Okay. You know what the problem was? The gluten. This is Quest, the triple L. Oh, well, well I'm going to pour a really small sip. That last one was miserable. Well, this one's way lighter looking now. I'm surprised it's lighter. I am good on that forever, but <laughs> yeah, there it is again. It's that, it, there's like an aftertaste of, I swear to God, it feels like I just pounded a glass of pneumonia. Uh, of ammonia. Okay. Pneumonia. <laughs> I just gl I drank a glass of ammonia. Okay. So our favorite is the Amber Ale. Yeah. The last two are 
I are so bad that they're making me question if they're not like toxic. In some what way. if they are bad? Yeah, that they might just be like poisoned and we're we're you know gonna get our yeah. death on camera here. But you seem to like it, I do which like is, <laughs> really speaks to your your palate. <laughs> yeah, it does. The final one. Um, the triple. The triple. Honestly, like a six. I would go. Uh, I'd go with a two. It was tolerable. It was tolerable until it eventually became very bad. There's like a three second experience with the beer. It's just like tolerable, tolerable, tolerable. Ugh. Real bad. I think I like the Glutenberg better. The Amber Ale is really good. The Green's Amber Ale was really good, but I think that four pack, even the one that I didn't like, do you remember tasting that one? I do. The... Not a single one of those made me recoil no, in yeah. horror like these did. Yeah, those yeah. tasted like legit beer. Yeah. These kind of taste like I'm drinking a gluten free knockoff, but I'm good with it with the Amber Ale. I don't mind that I'm drinking a gluten free Yeah, I would knockoff. drink the Amber Ale all day. In the whole seven different gluten free beers I've tried in the last like three years. So in my, my giant palate so far, Glutenberg's number one. I hope that I try more beers with you in the future. High five, babe. It's an easy job. Well. Can I do it with you? I was hoping you would. Okay. How As we... always, like and subscribe. <laughs> try some green beer today. Yep. And have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys. Bye, Thanks guys. For Thanks for watching. Subscribe. <laughs>